Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Hikaru Nakamura and Eduardo Bonelli. This is a game from Tradewise Gibraltar Tournament 2017. Hikaru Nakamura had white pieces and he started with d4. Eduardo Bonelli played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6, going for the queen's Indian defense. g3, this is the standard move. Bishop to b7, bishop to g2, bishop to e7, and both players castle at kingside. Knight to c3, black to move. Knight to e4, this is actually the most played move. Bishop to d2, if knight takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, and white has nothing special going on for him. Quite often white plays queen to c2 or queen to d3. In our game we have bishop to d2, bishop to f6, f5 is quite often played, bishop to f6 was played, rook to c1, d6, d5, knight takes bishop on d2, knight takes knight, e5, b4, a5, a3, a takes on b4, a takes on b4, knight to a6 attacking the pawn on b4, and Nakamura played queen to b3. White has a space advantage, black has a bishop pair. But this is not much of an advantage, because the position is closed. The game continued. Bishop to g5, attacking the knight on d2. e3, f5 intending f4. So Nakamura played f4. Black to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Eduardo Bonelli played bishop to f6. This makes sense. But there was another move that is very interesting and that is bishop to h6. And now if f takes on e5, it doesn't work, because bishop takes on e3, check, king to h1, bishop takes knight. In the game we have bishop to f6, and now Nakamura captured the pawn on e5. This would not be possible if the bishop was on h6. Bishop takes pawn. Well, d takes on e5 doesn't work because of rook takes pawn on f5. So we have bishop takes pawn on e5, knight to f3 attacking the bishop, king to h8, not worried about knight takes bishop. Knight takes bishop on e5. Well, let's go back. If bishop to f6, knight to b5, and after say bishop to c8, knight from f to d4. So we have king to h8, knight takes bishop, d takes on e5, knight to b5, queen to d7, queen to c3 attacking the pawn on e5, rook from a to e8 defending the pawn, rook from c to d1, rook to f6, and now e4, f takes on e4. If f4 is played, then g takes on f4, e takes on f4, then e5 and white is better. Back to our game. f takes on e4. Bishop takes pawn on e4. White pieces are better placed. Black to move. If rook takes on f1, rook takes on f1, this is also good for white. If queen to g4, rook takes rook on f6, pawn takes rook, rook to e1. Again, white is standing somewhat better. But the move played in the game is the worst choice. This is a blunder. d takes on c6, discovered attack on black queen, but Bonelli was counting on this continuation. Rook takes rook check. Rook takes rook. And now, Bishop takes pawn on c6, but Bonelli missed something. 
What did he miss? Why to move? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? White. Play the move when black resigned. The move is queen to f3. Black resigned. There is a double threat. If queen to e7 defending f8 square, then bishop takes bishop on c6, and bishop takes bishop on e4, then queen to f8 check. Rook takes queen, rook takes rook checkmate. Nakamura won this game, but he was also the winner of the tournament. Congratulations, Hikaru Nakamura. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.